because when you send those words out there more of that will come to you to use what you send out that's what come back are you one of those people who constantly trashes themselves who talk about themselves in a negative demeaning non-enhancing low down way do they find all sorts of faults about themselves? Are you one of them? If you are, this video is for you. I am Tess Murray, and welcome to my YouTube channel where you will learn the answers to life through happiness and success. Subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when a video of this nature is released. If you are one of those people constantly trashing yourself, trashing yourself, always criticizing yourself never ever seeing anything good about you you criticize from your hair to your toenails and everything in between you criticize everything happening around you you criticize your environment you go back and you criticize your birth and your childhood and all those things you're constantly putting yourself down you look at you feel it and you wear it. You do not enhance yourself. And it's, it's time to stop that. I always say to my friends, the world is going to do it for you. The world is going to criticize you and put you down if they can. Why should you add to it? Be yourself. Enjoy being the person that you were born to be. Stop trashing yourself. Stop finding faults with yourself. What might be a fault for you is a treasure in somebody else's eye. And you don't know who that person will be. And that is why I am bringing you this video today. Too many times I have heard and seen and listened and observed people who find the best thing to do is to demean themselves, put themselves small, make themselves little. Saying things like, I'm stupid, I'm uneducated, I, I barely scrape through high school. Well, you know what, that was then. And if you're not happy with where you are, with your, with your schooling, then you can make a choice, you can learn. I know people who've picked up a dictionary. I think they still have those around picked up a dictionary and decided to start from A and learn the, a new word, the pronunciation and the meaning and how to use it in a sentence. And they, they developed a great vocabulary and they picked up a lot of knowledge because the inquisitiveness of learning that new word caused them to go find out about that word more. They started reading better books, educated themselves about world affairs. They paid attention and they listened. And then they were in a proper way that they could command the English language and have a conversation about nearly any subject. They weren't professional on it, but they knew something about the history of this or that or the geography of a country and all different things. And what happened, what was invented and by whom they, they, they educated themselves. That was a witness they had, they felt they had because they didn't go past high school. And as they said in the beginning, before they realized they were worthy and had the capability to learn, trashing themselves about what happened. Well, what I'm doing with this is this. Stop trashing yourself. Begin to see yourself better. Begin to improve on you what you do not like. Raise your bar. Using demeaning words is just making it more demeaning. Using words that keep you down is making you more, keeping you more down. Talking about yourself and saying you're fat, you're heavy, you're skinny, you have a big nose, you have big lips, you have big eyes, you have all of the things that you see that is not what they have on an airbrush person in a magazine. Or enhance this and enhance that and you desire that. And because you do not fit in that peg, you just keep trashing the person you are. You are black and you're unfortunate. You're white and you're this and you stop it. What you can do now is take the time. Write a list of what it is that is amazing about yourself. Stop using those words. Are you a loyal friend? Are you a good friend? Because that is what you need to do 
so that you can learn to appreciate the person that you are. I know you will do better once you have this on your side. You see, there is so much more for you to learn. If you're looking for someone to be a speaker at any of your events that you're planning, get in touch with me. My email address is right here and you can contact me and I would love to give you more about making life choices to you or any of the topic on living a fulfilled life. Have a great day. So I just said there's so much more for you to learn. What I'm saying is begin with your thought. Stop thinking of yourself with all these negative little handles. I am is a powerful, two powerful words. And when you say, I am stupid, I am this, and all the criticism that you lay on yourself, you're putting yourself down. Guess what? Change your vocabulary. Use a word that is better than saying you're stupid. If you, I don't know about a certain subject, doesn't mean you're stupid. That just means you don't know. Instead of saying, oh, I know nothing about it, I'm stupid, I'm not educated. Do not do that. Say, you know, I really don't know anything about it. I would like to find out more. And if you are in a crowd and people are, are, are talking about something you don't understand, rather than sit there and be silent, get in and say, tell me more about it. Tell me what you thought when you had that experience. Tell me how you felt when that happened to you. How did you manage to come out of that situation and be where you are today? You see, if you are curious and you get involved, and you pay attention and you say, wow, that is so interesting. Tell me more. Is that all you did? I would really like to know more about this. You're opening the door for people to tell you more and you will learn. You will start filling your head because you're listening. You're asking questions. You're observing. You're learning. Look at how the people, they talk, how they dress, how they look at others. When you go to a, a, a place and there's people speaking, women of substance or women of those different types of groups, join one of those groups. You do not have to walk in there and say, I am so-and-so and I'm stupid. I am so-and-so and I'm fat. No, I am so-and-so and I'm here to learn how to improve my life. And they might say, what are you interested in? Well, I would like to know more about your organization, what you do and how you help others. No, you're going to describe yourself. So talk about yourself, you know, I am so-and-so. I was born over in the city. Um, I came to this place to work. I have a job there. I do this. And I am working to improve my health. If you're heavy. So I am going to get involved with this organization so I can learn from women or men or whoever that have improved themselves. Because this is where I want to go. That's, you ask and you're bold. Remember, you can share. If somebody snickers at you because you want to learn and you ask a question and they make a remark, ignore that. That is their little bit of no confidence, immaturity that is coming to the surface. And you have to move about that. Do not take that personally. What they're doing is how they're feeling. They're immature. They do not realize that you are learning and you cannot learn if you do not know and you cannot know unless you ask a question. So be bold and ask a question. How do you do this? What would you do with this? How does it taste? Get involved because and you say, you know, yes, I'm I'm working on losing 50 pounds and, and you look like you need to lose it. Fine. And when you say that, do not feel bad and make excuses of what happened. You are that. And your job is to get to where you want to go. And what it is you would recommend for me. Listen to the recommendation. Do a bit of it. What you can do, that's what you're looking for. But stop saying that you're fat and lazy and you feel this and you're that and you're stupid. And... No, there are words that are better. You could say, you know what? I'm a full-figured woman. I would love to lose some weight. I need to find out what it is I need to do. Can you help me with this? Instead of starting to say you're fat and this is that and nothing fits you and all of that. So watch how you talk about yourself. That is the most important thing. Stop trashing yourself. Believe there is more in you than you have to show on the surface. 
and then go get the help ask questions raise your bar raise your standards improve yourself if you do not like it but stop using words that are demeaning because when you send those words out there more of that will come to you to use what you send out that's what come back your words are like boomerangs you this you trash yourself you show that you have no respect for self others will do the same to you and now you have to fight yourself and those around you so remember stop trashing yourself seek the help you need if you think you will desire to be fixed realize you're worthy you're good enough you have everything you desire to live a fulfilled life and work on it because you are worthy be sure that you're putting all of you to making you the person you want to be have a great day if you like this video just click here there are more videos of this nature to be released anytime and you'll be notified have a great day